A soft target is a place where people are gathered, such as an airport, a train terminal, or even a stadium, where before they can get through screening, they are essentially unprotected. They are prime targets for terrorists. Well, what we've seen from Al-Qaeda and from ISIS is that they train to attack soft targets. They know that these are places where people are going to be gathering and where they're going to be unprotected. Uh, we saw that in the Paris attacks where uh, a couple of the suicide bombings happened outside of the Stade de France. In Brussels, we saw the airport and the metro station. One of the first things that authorities worry about after an event like Brussels is the possibility of copycat attacks, people who might just be thinking of doing something and then get inspired. So that's one of the reasons why you see an increased presence of police in places like Times Square, in places like Penn Station. You can only keep that increased presence for a few days. It's intended to make sure that you show an increased vigilance, but then the harder work begins behind the scenes. Wherever you put the security cordon, there is still going to be a line and a line is always vulnerable. So the U.S. has a very robust system whereby they do uh, sting operations to try to find these people who are online, who are talking about carrying out attacks. It's a very controversial tactic, but so far it has prevented a lot of attacks in the United States. In other countries, they're starting to copy that formula to try to do the same thing.